In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can smoothly change the background color of your page as you scroll down. And of course, it works on the mobile too. So first of all, we need a few things to complete this project. And the first thing is a WordPress theme. So for that, you wanna go to Appearance, Themes, and then you wanna click on Add New. So I've already installed Astra, but basically you can install pretty much any compatible theme that you want. When I say compatible, it's compatible with Elementor. So just type Astra. And as you can see, I've already installed it. So next you wanna go to Plugins, Add New. And then you want to install Elementor. So Elementor should be here on the first page, but in case you don't see it, just go to the search field and just type Elementor. And then once again, you will need to click on install and then activate. Next, you want to install Elementor Pro. And for that, you want to click on upload plugin. And then you just want to go and fetch the zip file that you've downloaded once you've purchased Elementor Pro. Just click on choose file and then proceed on installing the same way, just install and activate. Now, one of the reasons we need Elementor Pro is because we're going to use the attributes feature and this only comes with the pro version of Elementor. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you will find an affiliate link in the description below. Please know that I do receive a commission if you purchase through my link, but I only recommend Elementor Pro because I absolutely love it and commission actually support the channel, which is why I can keep on creating free content just for you. Okay, next we need a plugin called Simple Custom CSS and JS. So it's the first one appearing here. As you can see, I've already installed and activated it, but the same process, just click on install and then click on activate. Now let's give credit where it's due, shall we? Because this tutorial came from a code pen from Timo Carl that I've just slightly modified. Next, we need to add our JavaScript code. So for that, hover over the custom CSS and JS menu item and click on add custom JavaScript. Next, just give it a name. I'm just going to call it JS. And then you need to copy and paste the code that you'll find in the companion blog post. So I got the code here. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it right here at the bottom and then i'm just going to click on publish so as you can see it's easy just copy and paste but that being said even if you don't know how to code let me show you something so here we have five sections for the five sections of our page now if you need a six section all you need to do is copy that part here then go to the line just under and i'm just going to paste the same line and i'm just going to change five to six and once again five to six and then once i'm happy i'm just going to click on update which means that now if i want i can add a sixth section that's in case you need more sections but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to keep things simple so let me remove all of that let me go back once again i'm just going to copy the code that you'll find in the companion blog post and i'm going to paste it and click on update okay next we need to create our page so go to pages add new and as you can see, I've already created a couple of pages. The first one is just the demo that I show you at the beginning of this video. And the second is empty, is the one I created. But basically, just click on Add New. And then give it any name you want. And if you're using Astra, make sure you click on Disable Title. Then when you're ready, click on Publish. Then one more time. Okay, and now you can click on Edit with Elementor. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to add our CSS code. So for that, we want to click on the gear icon at the bottom left corner of the page. So let me click on this. And then you want to click on advanced. And now we can paste our CSS code that once again, you find in the companion blog post. So let me go back here. I'm just going to copy the code and I'm just going to paste it. And then I'm just going to hit publish. So as you can see, it changed the default background color of the page and a few other things like some transition for the color shift effect and the magic for the change of the background. Okay, next we can start creating our section. So let's start with the first one. So click on the plus icon here and we're going to select a one column layout. Next, you want to click on the content width drop down and click on full width. Next for the height, we want to make it a minimum height of 100 VH. Okay, next you want to click on the advanced tab and you want to give it a padding of 50 pixels all around. Okay, next you want to click on the responsive icon here and we're going to click on the mobile icon. And next you want to unlink the padding values and we're going to give it zero top, 20 on the right, zero at the bottom and 20 pixels on the right hand side. Next, in the CSS ID field, you want to give it a CSS ID name of one because this corresponds to what's in the JavaScript code. So make sure you spell it exactly like this, one. Okay, next you want to go to the attributes 
toggle. So let me open this. And we're going to need to do some more copying and pasting. So for that, go to the companion blog post. I just have the code here. Let me copy it. And I'm just going to paste it. So let me zoom out. And you can't see anything right now. And you'll only see it in the front end. And that's going to be the same for each and every section. But I'll show you how you can deal with that. So before we move on to the next step, make sure you update the page to save your work. Okay, next, let's go back to the desktop mode and click on the widgets icon to add a new heading widget. So I'm just going to drag it here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the text and it's going to be color one. Next, I want to make sure that my text is centered. And next, I want to click on the Style tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the color. Now you can choose any color that you want, but in case you're wondering, I'm using BFF3664 if you want to follow along. And next, I want to change the typography. So let me click on the Edit icon. And as you can see, I'm using Poppins as a font, and the font size is going to be 250 pixels. Next, you want to click on the Responsive icon, and I'm going to change it to Tablet. And this time it's going to be 110 pixels. And now one more time, let's do it for the mobile. And it's going to be 45 pixels. Now, once again, let's save our work just to make sure we are on the safe side. Okay, next, let's go back into desktop mode. And you want to open the navigator. So either you can click on the icon here at the bottom left corner of the page. So if I click on it, I'm just going to toggle it. Or you can use the shortcut Control i on a PC or Command and i on a Mac. So with the navigator open, I'm just going to select my section. Then I'm going to right click on it and click on duplicate. And before we move on, I suggest we rename our section. So let me show you. I'm just going to double click on the first one and rename it one and click on the second one and rename it two. Let me zoom out. So with section two selected in the navigator, click on the advanced tab. And then you want to add a CSS ID that we're going to call two. So make sure you spell it exactly like this. And next, we want to click on the attributes toggle and we need to change that code. So once again, you'll find it in the companion blog post. So I'm just going to copy it here and then I'm just going to replace this code. OK, and the last thing you want to do is to change the text. So you can just select it here and change the text here or you could have done it right here in the left panel. Now, for the second section, we want to change it and make it a white color. So let's click on style and we're just going to change the color to white. OK, so let's hit update to save our work. OK, next, you want to replicate the process for the rest of the section. So let me collapse number two. Let me right click and hit duplicate. Then I'm just going to double click and change it to three. So with our section number three selected, make sure you click on advanced and then we're going to give it a CSS ID name of three. And let's paste this text. OK, next, with our section number three selected in the navigator, just expand. Make sure you select your heading and then we're just going to change the text to color three. OK, let's repeat the process. Right click, duplicate, change the name to four, then zoom back out, advanced. You want to add a CSS ID with the name four, then click on attributes, select the text, remove everything. And once again, let's go back and copy our code and then let's go back into Elementor and let's paste this text. Make sure you expand section number four, select the heading and then we want to change three into four. And then last but not least, let's collapse number four, right click, duplicate, and then we want to change it to five. Now let's zoom back out and with our section five selected, click on advanced and you want to give it a CSS ID of five. Next, click on attributes, select all the text and remove it. And once again, let's copy our code. And next, let's go back into Elementor, paste the code. Next, you want to expand the section number five in the navigator and then you want to select the heading and now we can change it to five. Hit update and voila. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've built. 
So the first color is the default background color that we added with our CSS code at the beginning of this tutorial. And as I start scrolling down, you can see it turns to black, which is the first color attribute for the first section. And then as I start scrolling again, as you can see, there's a shift of color. And then here is color number three, color number four, and color number five. Now, because we have a white background, we can't see anything because the text is also white. So to fix that, you want to go back to Elementor and make sure you have the heading of Section 5 selected. And then you want to hit the Style tab and then click on Text Color. Now you can pick any color that you want, but I'm just going to select my pre-made color and click on Update. Next, you want to go back to the front end and let me refresh. And as you can see, now we have a different color. And if I scroll all the way down, we can still see it on the white background. Now let's take a look at the tablet version. And as you can see, it works just as on the desktop. And here is the mobile version with all colors working fine. Now the only drawback is that while you're editing, you don't see the change of colors in Elementor. So here is a temporary fix. So make sure you have one section selected in the navigator and then hit the style tab and then you just want to add a classic background type. So you can pick any color that you want. So let me pick this red and then just copy the code of that color. Then you want to go to advanced, then click on attributes. And you just want to replace the part with the six digits here. And the last thing you need to do is go back to style and make sure you remove the classic background. Otherwise, it's gonna be a fixed color and you don't want that. So once you're done, click on update. Okay, now if I refresh the page, as you can see when I start scrolling, my red color is there and it's smooth and transitioning to the next color. So very simple, just add a classic background color while you're editing and then make sure you remove it before you save your work. Now, as you may recall at the beginning of this video, I show you the same demo, but with a slight difference because there was a nice effect with horizontal scrolling text. So let me show you. And by the way, let's take a look at this navigation. If you want to know how to recreate this beautiful navigation, I've created a tutorial about that. So you find a link in the description below and a video card at the end of this video. Okay, let's click on version number one. And as you can see, this is the beautiful effect that I talked about. And if you want to know how to create this effect, if you're interested, please let me know in the comments. And if enough people want it, I may create it in a future tutorial. And if I do, and if you come from the future, you'll find a link in the description below in this video, as well as a video card at the end of this video. And if you want to be the first to know, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you know when I release this tutorial. Now, a thumbs up would be much appreciated if you got any value out of this tutorial, which I hope you did, because I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.